What's up, bros? If you're checking to see if you got a shout out, then watch the video almost all the way to the end because that's where the shout outs are. What's up, guys? Today I've got something cool to show you. I'm going to be building a paper shooters, and this one's called the Paper Shooters Extinction. And what this is, is a pistol that you build and it shoots little paper bullets. So let's take a look at this one. It's the Paper Shooters Extinction. Here's the front of the package. And here's the back of the package. It says it comes with 141 pieces um, and it shoots up to 65 feet, which is pretty good. I mean, that's almost like a, um, what a Nerf gun would shoot. And I also got extra magazines for it. All right, well, let's open it up. All right, I guess most of the gun is kind of pre-built for you and it kind of looks like, a, like a, a little Uzi or something. And this is another part. And it comes with, looks like a bunch of put out, a bunch of punch out paper pieces to put it together as well as instructions. And a whole bunch of parts, springs, plastic parts, looks like some little paper bullets and some shells, which is pretty cool. Okay, so let me put it together and then I will show you what it looks like. Okay guys, I finished step one, which is assembling the skeleton. Um, so basically, the inside of the gun is all plastic. They, it comes with two separate springs, and this one is a spring with a little bit less tension for you younger guys. Uh, this is the mag, and this, I believe, is an extended barrel, so you can have it with a short barrel or you can put on the extended barrel. I believe the next thing I need to do is put the paper outside around it. And then we can shoot the paper bullets. All right, let me go to step two and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right guys, here's the gun all finished. And this side. All right, let me go over the parts of the gun. Right here, you have the safety. This is the charging handle. On this side, you have the mag release button, and you have the space where the shells come out. And this big thing is actually the mag, but it's mostly covered by skin. It came with two extra mags, so here's what they look like. See, this green plastic part is basically the mag in here, and the rest of this is just the skin to make it look cool. The gun is called Extinction, and as you can see, it kind of looks like a dinosaur-looking figure with the eye here and this green texture to it. Now, uh, a word of advice is that the manual says when you're making the skin to either use hot glue, double-sided tape, or um, super glue. Um, I tried a little bit first with Elmer's glue and it's too slow. So um, I wouldn't recommend using super glue because it's easy to get glue on your fingers and it's, I hate when you have super glue on your fingers. It seems like it stays there forever. And I don't really think um, double-sided tape would look that good. So I mostly used hot glue when putting this together and I recommend you do the same. The blaster comes with six shells. It comes with some pre-made ammo. And it comes with this little press thing to make your own ammo. One way to load it is they tell you to take one of these little ammo pellets in here, soak it in here for 60 seconds, and then you'll put the ammo with the pointed face in the shell, and it's ready to go. So I can do one of those first. Here is a pre-made ammo, and I put it in my water for 60 seconds. All right guys, let me show you how to make your own ammo. It comes with this little press thing, and you take it apart like that, 
And what you do is you take tissue paper and you can roll it up into a bunch of little balls like this and you dip it in here for about two seconds. And you, you know, squeeze the water out and then you put it in this mold. Like that, right? So let's make a bunch of them. Now look, it came out like this from the bottom and it has these little spiky things here. So now you put that part on this side and you press it down. And that helps kind of form the ammo. And now it looks like that. And I think to help get it out, what you can do is just put it back the way it came on this side. And see, and that kind of pushes them out for you to grab them and pull them out. And then you got ones that are very similar to the ones it came with. Alright, the next thing is let's load this up and shoot it. To load the shell, you take the rounded end of the ammo and put it into the back end of the shell, like this. You load the mag by pushing the follower down and then putting the shell in like this. We'll load this in the mag like this. All right guys, Robert built this other paper blaster quite a while ago. And I'll leave the link to this blaster in the comments section below. Now I'm gonna have him shoot this blaster. Whenever you cock it for the first time, it should pick up a round from the magazine and put it into the chamber. And then when you shoot, the round should fire out. And then when you cock it, the shell should eject and a new one from the magazine should load into the chamber. Probably empty, yeah. The box says it can shoot up to 65 feet away, and we're not that far away, we're only about like 17 to 20 feet, um, but this still um, is kind of a test to show you how powerful it is. Now let's see if the Nerf strong arm beats it. I think the paper shooter won in power and in coolness by the look of the skin and the ejecting shells but I believe the Nerf Blaster wins in ease of use. You guys let us know what you think in the comments section of the community tab. All right guys, it's shout out time. The first shout out goes to Brennan Day. The next shout out goes to Mike Hunt. The next shout out goes to Jonathan Persaud. The next shout out goes to Sekiro Nerfer. The next shout out goes to Jonathan Lynch. The next shout out goes to Outdoors with Nate and his awesome friend. The next shout out goes to Adarsh Vlogger Tech. The next shout out goes to Freddy FNAF. The next shout out goes to Swipe Rival. The next shout out goes to Jennifer Cox's little brother. The next shout out goes to Samrid Barik. The next shout out goes to Fun CL. The next shout out goes to Gavin210. The next shout out goes to Beckon. The next shout out goes to Shadow Gaming YT. The next shout out goes to Tubula. The next shout out goes to Owen Fortnite. 
The next shout out goes to Justin Luis Mariano. The next shout out goes to Jack Rickelli. The next shout out goes to Bullseye Archery and RC. The next shout out goes to Smeared Meatball. The next shout out goes to Joshua Smalls Coakley. The next shout out goes to Burke 81. The next shout out goes to Random Things in Life. The next shout out goes to John Vermal. The next shout out goes to iHacks Backup Account. And the last shout out goes to Pat's Fan12873. All right, bros, if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and share this video with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell. Be happy, peace out.